I suck at intros. I don't know what to do. By the way, disclaimer. I got this microphone. I got this microphone and I don't know how to use it. Okay. So my audio might be off. But I'm trying this tutorial. You're gonna learn how to create French tips on poly gel. For a beginner, these nails are so easy to recreate. This tutorial, follow it, try it, girl, you will get it. You'll be walking around like, I want to wave like a pageant girl. Like, <laughs> like, subscribe, you know, like, subscribe, comment. I, I saw a couple of you little haters leave me the little dislikes on my video. Help a girl out. Don't just leave a dislike. Like, tell me what you didn't like so I can fix it. Okay? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everybody that has been trying to make it to these videos. Today we are gonna do some cute poly gel French tip nails. So let's do this. Here are my nails from my last previous set that I just took off. I'll link that video in the description so you guys can check it out if you haven't already. And then of course, starting off with our prep show, I'm gonna push back all of my cuticles of course. I'm doing this very gentle. This footage is just sped up, so it might look a little bit aggressive. And then when that's all done, I'm gonna take my e-file and cuticle bit and go around all my cuticles just to remove all the rest of that dead skin. And then we're gonna take our buffer and just buff away all the imperfections on the nail plate and remove the natural shine. Then take your nail surface cleaner, I'm using Gelish, and you're gonna remove all the dust and debris from your nail. I'm using my favorite nail tips that I got off Amazon. I love the C-curve on these tips. And I'm also going to put a press-on nail on my thumb because I wanted to show people that use press-ons versus tips the way that you could do it. These press-ons are my favorite press-ons I've ever found. They are gel press-on nails, XXL coffin that I got off AliExpress. They just fit so beautiful. And whenever I use nail tips, the sides always like touch or stick up. So I take my nail clippers and I just clip off the little sides of the nail tips. It just makes it so they don't stick up and they don't have to file them because I always end up filing them down anyway. Okay. Next, I'm taking this Beauty Secrets nail glue I got from Sally's. And I'm just going to apply all the tips to my four fingers since I'm using a press-on nail on my thumb. And you just want to hold this to your nail for a good five to 10 seconds just to ensure that it will stick down. You guys will see my ring finger throughout this tutorial. I wasn't sure at first if it was how I applied the nail or if it was my actual nail bed, but this nail tip was like sticking out so weird. <laughs> And then of course for my press-on nail, I have to use my Kiara Sky kit. You're going to etch the inside of the press-on nail before you cure it to your natural nail. This just holds a stronger cure. And after that's all done, I'm going to take my fingernail clippers and just clip down all the nails to the size that I want them. So now you're, you're just gonna go in and file shape and buff all the nails to your liking. These nails didn't need too much filing, but they just needed a little bit. Okay, so I'm in the middle of filming. As you can see, just did the prep. Hi. Oh, ramen. You want some ramen, huh? I guess I'm gonna go make some ramen and grab some snacks. I'm so hungry. Like, my nails take me, what, a good hour and a half, two hours, and a sis gotta eat. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go get a little snacky snack, and I'll be right back. Say 
vlog. Bye vlog. After you get done stuffing your face, you're then going to want to dehydrate your nails and prime them. You guys already know I love the Young Nails Protein Bond, so I'm going to do two coats of that. And since I'm not using a specific kit, I'm going to be trying out the Gelish Slip Solution today for the first time. I'll let you guys know how I like that. And to apply the poly gel, I'm going in with the Macar dual ended nail brush and spatula that came in their glitter poly gel kit. First up we're going to do is take some base coat and we're going to apply that to all the nails evenly. You just want a nice thin layer on each of the nails and then you're going to cure that in your nail lamp for 60 seconds. While I was curing the base coat, I kept getting heat spikes in the lamp, so if that happens to you, just take your hand in and out a couple times like you see me doing here. For my nail beds, I'm going to try the gelish light pink color. You're going to start off with a bead on your cuticle, and you're going to take your slip solution and your brush and just pat that color all around your nail bed. And you're just going to shape it to where your natural nail is showing underneath. You don't want your natural nail showing. This was my first time doing this French, and so I need to get my smile line down a little bit better. But with practice, I will get that down. I thought this color was going to be a little bit more pinky, I guess. So you'll see in later we end up going with another color just to put on top of it to make it a little bit darker. But you're going to do the same step on all of your nail beds and then once we're done with that you're going to cure it and then we'll file it and we'll sharpen up that nail before we apply the other color. Also I meant to say make sure after you're done with each nail bed you're curing in between so that your poly gel doesn't slip around and all your hard work stays in place because trust me I have shaped a nail and then went on to the next nail and didn't cure it and then all that hard work I did is like it's like moved. I loved doing French tip like this because it lets you focus on just one part of the nail instead of because you don't want to file too much where you like actually file into your nail but you want to just crispen up that smile line as best as you can. So I don't know if you guys can see but my ring finger just looks so janky to me so I actually go in with my nail clippers and I just chop it off. I then try to soak it off but that just wasn't gonna work so I had to take my e-file file it down and then I just restarted the whole process on that ring finger nail and I actually found out that my nail literally like 
that's how it sh that's how it lays like it comes up so yeah it's kind of weird but i did what i did you guys already know i can't have that file and dust all in my house so we're gonna go outside to file let's go Look how cute he is. Here are the nails after they're all filed and pretty. Now we're gonna go in with the Gelish Bright White Poly Gel and the McCart blue poly gel from their blue kit which I'll throw up a review soon and I'm gonna be mixing these colors together because I wanted a super baby blue poly gel for the French look after you've mixed your poly gel really good you're gonna take a little scoopy scoop and put the desired amount on your nail and then you're just gonna start to work that poly gel. You're gonna just blend it out all over the nail tip as best as you can. Make sure you try to get it really flat and smooth and also make sure that it's evened up with the pink nail bed that you just did, obviously. Um, I'm gonna let you guys watch for a little bit and then I'll come back in a second and tell you guys some more. Now when you're doing this, you're going to want to blend the blue poly gel up into the nail bed how you can see I'm doing here. You can see how it's kind of messy on the nail bed. You're going to want to do that because when we go to file, you're going to file off that blue and then the smile line is going to remain underneath. So you're going to want to put the blue on top of the nail bed but make sure it's smoothed out because after you file, like I said, your smile line will be revealed and it's like magic that's why this set is literally so easy because you don't have to be perfect right there you know what i mean you're just gonna file off top and then all the gorgeousness that you did that's why filing the smile line is so important because as if it's crisp it's going to show and it's gonna look bomb.com you hear girl So once you're done with that is when the filing starts and this is where the magic's gonna happen. Now, when you file, you obviously like wanna go in, you wanna go file and make sure you get all the color off the smile line, but you wanna be careful at the same time. That's why I'm not using my e-file because I tend to literally file off the color and that's what I almost did on my pointer finger. I almost filed off the color where now my tip was exposed and Luckily, I was going to use the butterfly, so I was able to kind of like hide that, but just be careful and file enough, but don't file too much. It's okay if your nails are a little bit on the thicker side because it just gives you more room to file and make them perfect and not file till you see the tip. So yeah, just keep filing away till you see the smile line, till they're shaped and perfect. And then you're gonna wanna go dust your hands off, wash them, 
and then we'll get into the next part. And when you're done filing, feel free to go on with your e-file and just perfect the cuticles. Mine didn't need too much work, but it's always nice just to go in and perfect them so when they grow out, they look perfect. And here are the nails after they've been filed. I love them. Now we're going to do some butterflies. I'm going to put top coat first on all of my nails. The nails that I don't put butterflies on, they're just gonna get top coat and cured. I got these butterfly decals off of Amazon, which I'll link below, and I was shocked when I opened these. You literally get like 30 plus sheets of butterflies, and they are so cute. There were so many colors, so there's so many fun sets you can do with these. The instructions are super simple. You just get a cup of water, you cut out the butterfly that you want for your nail, you're going to peel the top piece off, put it in the water, and then five to, second, five to 10 seconds later, the butterfly slides off the paper. You're gonna put some top coat on your finger, literally stick the butterfly on your nail, put some more top coat on that, and cure that bee, and they'll be ready to go. And then my favorite part, the cuticle oil. This is like some rose infused cuticle oil I think I got from Sally's. I'll find a link below, but just gonna rub that all in. And then here are the finished nails. I love how these turned out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something if you did. Consider subscribing because you want to help us out. I hope that you go and do these nails and tag me on Instagram, Slay by J Nails, to all the girls that are at home doing your nails. I'm with you, I see you, and we're in this together. I hope you guys all stay safe during quarantine, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!